And I'm going to grab that can. I don't want to forget it. And I think, um, well, I think it's time for... Man, Will went right to sleep, put his head down, and that was that. His wrist and ankle are feeling Astrid much has better. looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Because she's hurt. Or worse. Or I gone. Get back up to the crash site. Mm hmm. All right, well, get up. Stand up. But have a drink. It's a good thing we made that water last night. So now Will won't die of dehydration, but man, we gotta get some, uh. We gotta get some more water soon. Can we get. There's no charcoal? I guess not. It's burned out. All right. Let's move out. Nice sunny day today. That's good. Grab that shtick. Must have fallen down over the through the night. I don't remember missing it. All right, Will. Just grab everything. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All this wreckage here. Oh, I think that's Will's blood right there. Fortunately, nothing came sniffing around last night. Oh, there's another log. Grab it. Grab all the sticks. Might need these to burn later. Now, obviously, we've got to go up here oh no crows that's a bad sign that's a bad sign because they're usually circling corpses hopefully it's not Astrid maybe it's just this fella this right here this could save my life could. doesn't look too good dig in no choice do I have. stuck his face right in <laughs> yeah grab a little bit of meat 30 minutes we don't want to spend too much time out here oh gosh Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Got two pounds. Cook raw meat before eating it to avoid getting sick. Right. Gotcha. I could probably climb that. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me know. Um, we, we shall try. All right, Will. Let's see what you got, buddy. Those cold fingers. Cold, bloodied, holy hands. Up you go. You did it. I knew you could do it. I had faith. Grab some of those rosebuds. Makes a good tea. Pick rose hips and craft them into a pain-killing tea. We will. We will indeed. Will is really cold, too. This is not good. we got to warm back up again. I don't know where we're going to do it. Just grab as many of these as we can before we continue on. And up you go, Will. That a boy. Come on, Astrid's up there, buddy. I hope anyway. Oh, oh, I'm falling. <laughs> I'm falling. I can't get up. Ah, there I we go. We're gonna make it. You might. Depends. <laughs> I almost let Will fall there. All right, up we go. Astrid, Astrid, it's us, Will and me. Just keep climbing. Go. And who who am me? Who am me anyway? I don't know. Just finally, you made, made it. it. Good job. All right, where's all that wreckage at? There it is. Let's make sure we're not missing anything important here. Will's in rough shape. Really rough shape. I'm worried about him. He's so cold. Hopefully, we can get a fire started up here. And maybe find some shelter. Oh wow! My plane. Yeah. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. All right, dude. This isn't how things were supposed to end. No. Hypothermia setting in. Can you let me move now? There's your coat. Pick it up quick. I've been looking for you. It was in the back seat, like I said. Uh, wait, he didn't even put it on? All right, we put the... Never felt so cold in my life. I know, it's cold. Astrid's back. Oh, here's all the stuff. Grab it. Well, what did I tell you before? Never go through a Just girl's what I need. bag. Fleece mittens. Oh, here we go. All right, well, that is some good stuff. Let's put on those mittens. Maybe we'll warm up right now. And do we have anything else we can put on here? Extra coats. No. Nope. All right, and uh, the hard case. Grab that hard case for the hard case. Don't even try. D hmm. Locked. Yeah. Put it in your backpack. Whatever's in this case, Aspirin was ready to die for it. Yes, she was. I hope she hasn't already died for us. I trust you, buddy. Oh, we gotta eat, dude. We gotta eat, dude. How about uh, chocolate bar? Get some food in that belly. 
calories to burn. Still in real rough shape here. What is this then? Okay, energy bar. Oh, here's all the putrefaction tablets and water. This is what we grabbed before we left. <laughs> I'm going to need to eat soon. Yeah. Why don't you have a zap energy bar? What, you couldn't pack something with a little more sustenance in it? Really? Well, candy bars? You're like a kid. You're like a kid. Sometimes. Got to explain everything to you. All right, we're just going to grab everything. Hopefully we don't get too weighted down. Just a stick over there. Some reclaim. Oh, I see a flare. Oh, nice. Could use that against the, uh, the wolvesies that are sure to come after us. And now we need to warm up. We gotta, we gotta find some warmth quick. Where can we go? Uh -oh. She definitely passed through here. And in a hurry. Well, would you focus? You're dying. Sprinting can help you escape bad weather or dangerous predators. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Does that mean we're gonna get tested here? We're gonna learn how to sprint from a hungry wolf or something, probably. Old man's beard recipe open. Fantastic. We need to find a cave. We gotta get out of this cold. Will is literally dying right now. Slowly dying. It's like being up on the top of Everest. Your body is literally dying up near the top. Slowly but surely. Uh, I don't see anything around here. But clearly this is the way to go. Pick up a random stick once in a while. Yeah, it's super cold. I mean, I guess we could just get a fire going out here somewhere. But I feel like... Find and equip small stones and throw out rabbits. Yeah, I know. However, we don't really have time to stun the wabbits. We gotta get a fire going or find a shelter. I don't remember if there's a cave around. Yeah, I see the little bunny wabbit, but I don't really need to throw rocks at him right now. How do we get the rocks out? Oh, here we go. Let's stun him. See this. Oh, jeez. Didn't need to do that. Oh, yeah, grab that cattail. It's fire starter, and we can just eat it as is. Wow, look at all the rocks. I think we're supposed to hang out here for a while or something. But we gotta get... We really gotta get shelter. Oh, look. Okay, Astrid came this way. Down here? I don't really care about the bunnies right now. Do we? Do we care about the bunnies right now? Astrid. Where did you go? Not really. Let's sprint, Will. Oh! There's a wolf. Oh. Hot diggity dog. This is not good. Already? Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh! Is that a wolf? Yes. I better keep my distance. Yes, just avoid the wolf for now, Will. Trying to get some shelter. I don't remember what's around here on this map, but I'm hoping there's going to be a uh, building or something we can get inside quick. Oh, I see a tower up there. That doesn't look like it's uh, enclosed, though. I mean, I could just set up a little fire right here. If need be, we're going to do that. Whoa. Looks like some kind of radio tower. Mm-hmm. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. You're pretty close, Will. All right, climb down, dude. Climb down. Careful now. Here we go. Yeah, good one. All right. Uh, still don't know where we are. We're going to head toward that radio tower. Seems like the smartest thing to do. Let's sprint a little. Oh, watch out, bunny. Coming through. Frozen human. Okay, I see a sign. Watch out. Oh, great. Radio tower is not going to help us. We need a cave. A cave! A cave, a cave! <laughs> Woo! All right. Hopefully there's no bears in here. Bear? The bear left. I do see coal, though. Is that coal? Oh, yes. Coal burns. Nice, nice. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Is that a sleeping bear? No. Some kind of ore or something. It's just ice. All right, we gotta get a fire going. Oh, we're warming up in here. Look at that. Ah, this is so nice. Okay, good. Well, we're warming up, so we don't really even need the fire, but the fire's gonna help us warm up a lot faster. We can cook up that meat, right? Um, I forget how to make a bed. How do we make a bed? 
Because we're going to have to make a bed, too. 75% chance is not so hot. We don't have a book. Uh, gosh, well, I hope this works. Nine matches. Come on, Will. Concentrate. We need a bedroll. Oh! That didn't work. Rat. All right, let's try that again. Two more birch bark left. 75% chance. Come on, Will. Concentrate. Focus. Focus! Your life depends on it, man. And maybe Astrid's, too. You can't help her if you can't help yourself. There we go. There we go. Yes! Turned out pretty well. Yeah! <laughs> you did it! I knew you could. Throw some fuel in there. We're going to warm it right up. And we'll throw some coal on later, but we need it to warm up a little bit first. I'm going to hang on to some of the wood. Okay, let's warm up the Wilster, and we can cook while we're here too, right? Can we just throw that right on the fire? Oh, look at that. You can throw it on the fire now. On the rock next to the fire. I don't think we could have done that before. Like you had to put it in a pot or a pan or something before, right? Well, that's very nice. And we should probably do some uh, water. Yes, recycled can. Unfortunately, we can't do a whole lot in here, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. That point thirteen liters. Now, I wish I could save it right here. I actually, you know what? I think we can. <gasps> oh, F5 quick save. That's the best feature ever. Thank goodness that was added. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. In the past, you could only save it in a bed when you slept, but now there's a button to save it, and thank the Lord. So it looks like we have, um, we still have some daylight, so why don't we just hang out here for a little while. We'll, uh, we'll cook up this venison, we'll melt some snow, and we'll get, uh, we'll get, uh, Will here back to full health. Well, not full health, but we'll at least eliminate this hypothermia risk. So it looks like that's going down slightly here by the fire yeah let's get all warmed up and then we'll go uh, back outside and see what we can find so apparently we can um we can speed this up right by clicking on it and then holding the space bar there we go yeah potable water good now that is not quite done yet let's go ahead and continue making this water while we can We've got nothing else to do and we'll pass the time and there we go. Hypothermia risk has been healed. Thank goodness. Uh, oh, the venison's done. Don't let it burn. <laughs> That's why I don't like passing the time, because I'm afraid we're going to burn something or dry out all the water, etc. Um, we should probably eat, right? Yeah, let's eat that venison. It smells delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Down the hatch, plenty of calories, and that'll fill up the belly nicely, and we might as well drink some water. Got half a gallon right now. Get a little bit more before we head out of the cave and continue exploring and looking for Astrid and uh, hopefully civilization. There's a radio tower out there, so that means there must be some peoples, right? All right, let's speed that up. Fortunately, it does stop right at the next stage, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. All right, grab it. Got the water. Grab the can. And why don't we, um, well, let's put a little bit of, uh, how about reclaimed? Let's add some fuel on here, like an hour. That should be enough. Just in case we have to come back, I don't want to have to start the fire back up again, you know what I mean? So, one hour to go explore that radio tower. It should, it should give us time to get back here if we have to spend the night in the cave. It's not that far, it's like right there. Alright, cool. So, no more hypothermia. We got a little food in the belly. We got some water in the system. All we gotta do is go check out this radio tower. See what's cooking. I don't remember this radio tower in uh, in the old story mute. Uh, so story mute, <laughs> winter mute map. But that doesn't mean it didn't exist. You okay, Will? Come on, buddy. You can do it. Keep up, man. You gotta get in better shape, pal. There we go. New location discovered. Radio tower. And keep your eyes open for clues. As to what happened to Astrid. Oh, there's a dude. It's not Astrid. Oh, buddy. Close your eyes, Will. Let me check first. Scenic oh. view. Ooh, someone's just sitting here. Frozen. What the hell? Someone's just sitting there. 
<laughs> they like the view so much, <laughs> they stayed forever. Ooh, crow feather, and I did hear a wolf, Great. by the way. Oh, the town. town! Maybe I can find help there. Yes! Is that Milton? I think it's Milton! Of course, that's knowledge I would have, but Will doesn't know what the heck it is. Anyway, let's check out this frozen fella here. What you got, buddy? Painkillers! Ooh, we could use that. More feathers. All right. Um, are there crows here? I didn't notice any crows. So is that it? So I guess we can just go down to town. We don't have to go back to the cave to sleep. Because I was going to... I was wondering how the heck we could sleep without a bedroll anyway. I mean, I guess you can just sit there and pass the time. But that's not very fun. Or convenient. Or healthy. Ooh, we got to climb down. Um, oh! <laughs> well, I wanted you to grab the rosebuds, buddy. But he's, he's in a rush. He's got to get down to this town. And I don't blame him because he's not in very good shape right now. Physically. His health is so low. You know what? Let's get that flare out just in case a wolf comes around. I did hear some howling. And I'm a little concerned about that. Just got to get to the first building and we'll duck inside. And then we should be safe for the night because the sun is going down. Yeah, the moon's on the rise. Look. Smoke from that chimney. Oh. Good eyes, Will. That means someone's home. Could mean someone's home, or there's a fire in the house. <laughs> well, the house is on fire. Oh, yeah. I know this place. Of course, I know Hello? this place. Whoop. Will, keep it Anyone down. Dude, stop yelling. What the heck is wrong with you, man? There's wolves about. Holy smokes, you weirdo. There's a dead guy here. This is new. This dead what guy wasn't here? here before. Hey, put that thing down. Don't. Pop it. Now, we don't need to light in match. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> Just check his body. It's empty. The dude is empty. Go oh, grab that hatchet. Fantastic. Yes, we need that. Anything else in here that we could use? Anything on the ground next to this dead guy? Now, who is this guy? This is very interesting. Hmm. He wasn't here before in the old playthrough, so I'm wondering who he is. This uh, mystery may be revealed. Oh, wait. Well, those are my tracks. I thought maybe there were animal tracks here. Well, I don't know. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah. Look at all the blood here. It's leading to the front door. Oh, it sure is. All right, well, let's get inside. Try to figure out what this blood is. Hopefully it's not Astrid's. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Anybody here? <laughs> well, let me do the talking, okay? Oh, it's an old woman. Put the rock down, dude. Put the rock down. Put the rock down. <laughs> I don't know how to holster things. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. We come in peace. Hi, what's up? How we doing? Can we sit here by the fire? Hey. Hey, wake up. Oh, she's asleep. And the one shows oh shit. my gosh! She just, uh, wait! She just discharged Hold your her fire! Weapon. Don't shoot! Get back! Friendly! O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Well, tell her. Tell her we're Why friends. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. Yeah, we've already seen that outside, I, I think. <laughs> the others are all gone. If you're here, 
Things must be worse than they thought. <laughs> Thank you, Granny, for putting that gun down. Uh, well, this is new. These are really super bright dialogue options that we can move around. That's kind of cool. Um, gun. <laughs> How about we start with, who are you? Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name, once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Um, what is this town? Where are we? No, a forgotten town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But, uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Uh, yeah. I would appreciate that. Sorry to overwhelm you here, uh, Granny. So, Granny here talked about the bad men. I think that part's new. The corpse outside, the bloody man, is definitely new. It seems like he is one of the bad men, and it looked like he had a prisoner outfit on, didn't it? So, if I recall, back in the original Wintermute, there was a boss. I think you started near a prison boss, and uh, the bad men must have escaped from the boss. So, that would explain that guy out there. She must have shot him. Uh, so, anyway, hey, uh, Granny, can we borrow that gun? Because I know there's a lot of bad men out there. We're going to need it. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. You expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Ah, that'll teach the bad men. Good show. Um, can you tell me more about the bad men? Who are the bad men? The men, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. Um, are you hurt? The bad men, did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. 
but they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Uh, do you have any supplies we could borrow? I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're going to need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is going to make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grandmother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Wow, okay, we have lots of options here. Um, why'd you call us a mainlander? What does that mean? You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? Uh, is there a way out? Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here. Since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Tell us about the others of Milton. What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway, 
Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it. Possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Memories are gray, misty. I'm tr trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Okay, Granny. We're sorry. Let's uh, let's give Granny some rest here. Oh, can I choose empty? What is empty? Oh, wait. Okay, no. Empty was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> New objective, find supplies to help keep Grey Mother alive and check the gas station for more supplies. Alright, yeah, we're going to let Granny rest here. This is so nice by the fire. Oh, how I've missed it. Perpetual fire, we don't even have to start it or feed it. It's awesome. And we are going to use Granny's floor here to uh, drop stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll probably use this as a base of operations for quite some time now. And I think that's what I'm going to do right now is just go through my inventory and get organized um, and get ready for the next episode and the next grand adventure. But for right now, let's see if there's anything in here that we can borrow. <laughs> we have a cabinet here. Granny, you don't mind, do you, if we go through your stuff? I mean, if we're going to be helping one another out, we might need some of the things you have in the house, like maybe an extra coat. All right, Granny, we're going to stay here tonight, okay? And we're going to head out first light. First light, we're going to go take care of those supplies for you. All right? Can we borrow the room upstairs, that guest room? Thanks. Appreciate it. I think she said yeah. She nodded. 